under the leadership of Brother Louis Farrakhan well actually prior to that when I was a little boy I was inspired by the teachings of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad most of you who have listened to my uh, videos and have spoken to me you know this after listening and after the application of the messenger of Allah's teaching I wanted to be part of what he represented unfortunately when he was among us when he was alive I did not have the opportunity to be part of the nation of Islam later as a teenager I would join and offer and accepted the offer to help Minister Louis Farrakhan in uplifting the teachings of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad and based on that that's what I wanted to do I did not know who Louis Farrakhan was I only knew that this was a man who wanted to rebuild something that I had grown to love but did not have an opportunity to become part of so I wanted to become part of the nation of Islam I did not except to help or assist Louis Farrakhan because of Louis Farrakhan I wanted to uplift the teachings of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad so the best thing since Elijah Muhammad was no longer among us the best thing that I've seen or that I was introduced to was Minister Louis Farrakhan and when I decided to help the minister not follow Louis Farrakhan I was wishing to rebuild the teachings of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad this is something that I want to make clear because I again I did not know anything about Louis Farrakhan he was something that was new to me in fact I did not know anything about Malcolm X I only knew about the messenger of Allah the Honorable Elijah Muhammad the man who taught me how to love my black self and saved me from self-hatred that so many of our people became victim to I learned how to love this dark skin, broad nose, kinky hair, and love that which I, the way that I was born. And even though I don't believe in God, I can still easily say all praises are due to Allah for the most honorable Elijah Muhammad. Without Elijah Muhammad, I would not be speaking with you right now and that goes to show you how powerful this man was and is but now I could not just join the nation of Islam in order to become part of the nation of Islam there are lessons that you must learn you must be able to get your ex you must be able to qualify to have your name in uh, I forgot what the book is the book of heaven heaven book I forgot what they call it actually it's been so long but you must qualify to get an X and you're not a, an official member of the nation of Islam until you write the uh, letter 
and copy it exactly as Master Farah Muhammad wrote it and you learn your lessons and you repeat them by heart. I want it to be part of the nation of Islam. And so I was willing to do that which would qualify me to become part of that which I wanted so much to be part of. There were some brothers and sisters who said that they wanted to be part of the nation. They never got past writing the letter. They would not memorize the lessons. But they claimed they wanted to be part of this. If you want to be part of something, then you must qualify yourself. They didn't want to do that. So apparently, you did not want to be part of the nation of Islam. If you want to be a police officer, you have to qualify. If you want to be a fireman, you have to qualify. If you want to be a teacher or a principal at a school, there are qualifications. Just because this is the nation of Islam, just because this is the NAACP, just because this is some group, there is qualification. Now, if you want to sit back and just help by giving a donation or buy a bean pie now and then, that's different. But to be part of something, even to be an American citizen, you must qualify. You must be born here. And if you're not born here, there are other things that you have to do, other criteria that you must follow in order to be a citizen of this country. It's easy if you're just born on this land that they call the United States of America. I almost started to say the United Snakes of America. I'm so, <laughs> I'm so used to saying the United Snakes of America. So I did those things. And I got my ex. And I really did not join to a... a I did not really understand what I was joining. And that was a mistake. But I was a child. I was a a teenager. Only thing I know that I, I love Elijah Muhammad. I've never been really religious, but I was always seeking what we call black unity. I always was seeking brotherhood and sisterhood. Now, what or why am I bringing this up? During my time in the nation of Islam, I heard those many, many times. People would say, I would die for Louis Farrakhan. I would die for Allah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sacrifice for this. This is, I, this is, what I, this is where I want to be. This, this is it. And when I was a young man, I heard these words and I thought these people were serious. But since that time and during my seven to nine years as part of the Nation of Islam under the leadership of Minister Farrakhan, I watched brothers and sisters come and I watched brothers and sisters go. There was a rumor out that it was a lie. It's a rumor that once you join the nation of Islam, you can't get out. Well, clearly, that rumor is not true. I've seen many brothers and sisters come, and I've seen many brothers and sisters go, including myself. But I did not go, or I did not leave easy. I did not go because I couldn't handle the assignment that was given to me. I did not leave because there was too much work. I left basically because I did not view what was going on, really represented the teachings of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, and I left because I no longer believe in God at all. So it would be hypocritical 
to continue to wear a bow tie and talk about Allah and I don't believe in God and I also decided that I could not no longer participate because there was no production. There was nothing meaningful happening in the community. All this work but there was nothing that was being produced for ourselves or our community. How can you say or talk about the white man and you still work in the white man's job? Been around here working day and night, sacrificing 79 years and don't have nothing. I can't do it. And so since nobody or they, there was people that, that did not or could not see where I was coming from, we are still brothers and sisters, but I can no longer work under these type of conditions. So it is best that I go. I'm not your enemy. We are brothers and sisters, but I know I no longer qualify or fit the criteria that you're looking for. So it makes it I would be it would be hypocritical for me to stay just for the sake of staying. But I am still a child of Elijah Muhammad, and you can't take that away from me. Now, when many Muslims leave under the umbrella of Islam for whatever reason, many of them return back to the street. Because, see, they wanted to always go back to the street anyway. They still wanted to drink liquor. They still wanted to be a whore. They still wanted to smoke weed. There was something in the street. There was still there was always something out there that they wanted. So they went to the street. So brothers and sisters that's still in the nation, when they see me, they expect to see a person with a beard, with reef in their mouth, went back eating pork in bad shape. But when now, when they see me, I still stand strong because I'm still with Elijah Muhammad. I'm still with the struggle. And that's what Elijah Muhammad wanted for us. He wanted us to strive and become better and work for this struggle and uplift our people. And that's what it's all about. It's not about being in the same house as long as everybody going in the same direction. And we should be cool with that. I don't care anything about smoking weed. I don't care anything about drinking beer. Those things don't mean nothing to me. I'm here. And I tried to qualify, in fact did qualify to belong to the nation of Islam because I wanted what was best in the best interest of our people. And even though I'm not in that part of the house, that's still what I want. I'm not using, oh, I couldn't get along with Farrakhan or I can't get along with so-and-so in this organization. Give, using that as an excuse to do drugs, to drink. And go right back to the foolishness that I came from up out of. I don't need Farrakhan. I don't need even Elijah Muhammad to stand up and fight 